Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the CSR Net Mathematics 2025. Today, I will upload the part 4 on the memory based question and that is related to the integral equation. Myself, Dr. Hrishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the CSR Net and the gate examinations. I had already uploaded the Mathematics CSR Net 2025 solutions. Now, the question is related to the integral equations. How you can solve this question in the 15th second? Have you, do you have a reaction of this when you solve these questions? Believe me, it's one of the easiest questions. Why? If you compare my differential equation or my given equation with fx plus the limit is k x comma t of ut into dt. Check whether check whether these two properties are satisfied or not. k of xx is 1, k of x into t multiply k of t into comma x is 1. Whether these two properties are satisfied or not. If these two properties are satisfied, then you can apply my shortcut tricks. So clearly say k of x comma x is 1. So it will be cancelled out satisfied. k of x comma t and k of t comma x. Again, it will be cancelled out. So yes, both the properties satisfied. So once both the properties satisfied, can you find the resolvent kernel? Yes, you can find the resolvent kernel, which is nothing but kernel divided by sine into e raised to power lambda times x minus t. What is the lambda? This is a coefficient of this case. So lambda in this case is my 1. Fine. Now once you know the resolvent kernel, what will be your solution? So finally, your solution will be ux which is equal to fx plus integration from 0 to x of the resolvent kernel x plus 3, 3 into sin t, e raised to power x minus t into f of t. Fine. So what is the f of t? You can see it's a 3 plus sin t. I can write here is 3 plus sin t. Now that's over. Your integration is with respect to t. So I can take an x component is outside. So it is 3 is outside plus sin x is outside, e raised to power x outside. The inside remaining is 0 to x, e raised to power minus t. So can you integrate them? It is 1 minus e raised to power minus of t. And if I substitute the upper limits, it will be 0 to x. Fine. Now your target is to find the value of the pi by 2. So can you find the answer at pi by 2? So pi by 2 is 1. It is 4 e raised to power pi over 2, 1 minus e raised to power minus pi over 2. So that will be 4 plus 4 e raised to power pi by 2 minus 4. So the answer is 4 e raised to power pi by 2. Can you find the value of the e of pi? So sine of pi is 0, sine of pi is 0. It is 3 plus 3 e of pi. 1 minus e of minus pi. So that will be 3 times e of pi is the right answer of this problem. Fine. So you can see that it's a very very simple approach. You can watch about my this lecture of the Volta equations. You can see Volta equation. Just, just wait for the few minutes. Yes, this one. Thing. Volta equations, equations and the Fredmull resolvent kernel. You must watch about my these five lectures and then you will be see this question you can easily solve with the this method. And I hope you can enjoy this session with a very simple way. We will see the next lecture very soon. Till then you can share this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy.